You've probably heard about George F. Johnson, the businessman and the philanthropist, but George F., the matchmaker, never heard of that. Tonight on, tonight on Legacy Landmarks, reporter Amy Hogan tells us about one power couple who had EJ to thank for their wealth and their marriage. This white colonial on Lincoln Ave, now the Endicott Visitor's Center, with its columns and sweeping front porch, it was built to impress. The grand entrance. It was the home of Alfonso and Julia Bowes, a couple brought together by a familiar name. He was a uh, felt manufacturer. They made the felt and sold it to Mr. Johnson for the boots. And this is Julia. She was Johnson's right-hand woman. There are stories that nothing ever got moved from one factory to the other unless it had her approval. So she was a lot more than a secretary. We kind of romanticized. We figured he was selling the felt, she was purchasing. Maybe that's how they met. Met and married by 1916 and started building their dream house in 1919, where they raised their two adopted children. I love to point out the woodwork in the entrance. Designed by architect Sanford Lacey, who made sure there were plenty of ways to enter and exit. These doors all open out. These are all French doors. There's a door to go the hall. There's a door to go over that. There's a door to go this way. Doors, cabinets, closets within closets. The two door again. All for the bargain price of $36,000. And just like the boss, George F., they liked to share their wealth. Most of the parties that they held here, it was usually a fundraiser for some project. The Boses played their own role in history, so it seems only fitting that now their home is used to educate visitors about Endicott's rich past to tell the story of George F., to tell the story of, of Thomas Watson. And the story of Julia and Alfonso, part of the Johnson legacy, and further proof that some of the best things come in pairs. In Endicott, for Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Amy Hogan.